Hi, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll see how to fix the Gigabyte Control Center no device on. So let's get started. So the fix number one is update the Gigabyte Control Center. Open the Gigabyte Control Center software on your computer. Look for an update or check for the updates option within the software interface. Click on the update option to initiate check for any available updates. Follow the on-screen instructions to download and install the latest updates. You can inform restart the Gigabyte Control software control center for updating to ensure the changes take effect. Fix number two is update the BIOS. Go to the official website of your motherboard's manufacturer. Example, example can be in Gigabyte. Find and download the latest BIOS update specifically for your motherboard model. Restart your computer and access the BIOS setup by pressing a specific key during the startup in the BIOS setup utility. Locate the option to update the BIOS. Select the BIOS update file from the USB drive and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the update process. Fix number three is manually launch the Gigabyte Control Center. Type the Gigabyte Control Center in the Windows search box. Locate the Gigabyte Control Center in the search results and click on to open it. The fix number four is disable the control for isolation. Type the Windows security in the Windows search bar. Open the Windows security and navigate this device security on the left hand side. Click on the core isolation and toggle off the memory integrity. Exit the windows to complete the process. The fix number 5 is uninstall and reinstall the Gigabyte Control Center. Uninstall the Gigabyte Control Center. Access the control panel on your Windows system. Navigate to the program and program features within the control panel. Locate the Gigabyte Control Center in the list of uninstalled programs. Select Gigabyte Control Center and choose the uninstall option. Follow the on-screen prompts to complete the uninstallation process. Reinstall the control Gigabyte Control Center. Download the latest version of the Gigabyte Control Center from the official Gigabyte website. Run the downloaded installer to begin the installation process. Follow the installation wizard instructions to install the Gigabyte Control Center on your computer. If the Gigabyte Control Center does not appear in the and remove program list, you can run the uninstaller from the installation folder. After reinstalling, check for any available updates within the control center to ensure you have the latest wash. Fix number six is run gmgs.exe. Navigate to the installation folder of the Gigabyte Control Center on your computer. Double click on the gmsg.exe file to execute it. After running the GMX, gmsg, .exe observe if it resolves any issues related to the Gigabyte Control Center functionality. Number seven is you can contact the Gigabyte Technology support team for further assistance. You can send a mail to them or you can contact them through the phone number or you can also send a mail to them. You can see the list of the email IDs for that particular region or for the particular area. So once you send a mail to them, the technical expertise team, they will get back to you and they will try to resolve the issue and they will give you a better solution. Okay, so that's all about this particular video guys. I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. See you in and all. Thank you. Bye-bye.